Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, we are doing a drag and tune video on the 1969 Hot Wheels Twin Mill. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, first of all I'm going to show you the all-wheel drive tune. Um, so for starters with the upgrades you want to swap the drivetrain to all-wheel drive. On my share codes you'll see a rear-wheel drive tune, so if you want to opt for that you can do. It's entirely up to you. Um, I will say there is a speed difference. The all-wheel drive one is a tad quicker but it's entirely up to you. There are some rear wheel drive and small wheel drive drivers out there. It's your preference. When it comes to tires and rims for the upgrades, tire compound, drag, tire um, as always and make the rear tire width as big as possible. If you can, do go for a lighter rim set. It is a super heavy vehicle. Now when it comes to the engine upgrades, max every single one of these out. There's only four options there, so you just want to put them all onto race and then you're good to go. For platform and handling, off-road springs and dampers, you want to avoid a roll cage. The car is heavy enough as it is, so you don't want to go for that. And if you can, please do go for the race weight reduction kit as well. After that, we can move on to drivetrain. You want to keep the transmission stock race drive line and then a drift differential that's what i've gone for you just want to put that on and then you are done with the upgrades then we can actually start on the tune so for the tune as i will always recommend um it's coming up now but just pause the video every time i change category copy it all down write it all down after this part, if you just skip 30 seconds, if you don't want to see how to manually apply the tune, then you can just skip 30 seconds ahead and then get the actual share code that you want. There will be two share codes there. One for the all-wheel drive, which is labelled on the actual name of the tune, and then the other one is a rear-wheel drive tune. From the front of the bars going all the way to the flash, I would say the rear wheel drive will get you all the way up to 210 miles an hour, but the all wheel drive one will get you to 212. So I'll say that again the rear wheel drive will get you all the way up to about 210 on a good on a good run, but the all wheel drive will get you about 212, 213. Uh, not much of a difference, but goddamn, it is a super, super fun car to use. Definitely an experimental car. Not something I can see myself dragging in all the time, but just for the purpose for a video and just to show you guys that it can be pretty damn quick, here is a drag tune for it. So obviously, decide which one you want to go for. I know I haven't shown the upgrade parts for the rear wheel drive. It's pretty much exactly the same. Um, the only difference is obviously you're swapping the drivetrain for all-wheel drive and rear-wheel. That is the main difference. The tune is pretty much the same. Um, but you do get a tremendous amount of wheel spin with the rear-wheel drive. Um, all the way up to second gear, then traction kicks in, and then it will zoom all the way up to about 210 miles an hour, which is pretty good, but the all-wheel drive I feel like you've got a bit more control over and it does zoom up the up the drag strip it is quite surprising it does blow up quite a lot of people away that this massive chunky vehicle can move so fast but let me know what you think of the car and the tune down in the comment section below but I'm gonna wrap this video up here I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far but I love every single one of you and I'll see you all in the next video.